What's cracking, everybody? It's me, Scuba Steve with Kraken Aquatics, bringing you another helpful video. And today, the topic is single lens dive mask versus the double lens dive mask. Let's dive in. So, if you're a scuba diver or you're thinking about going scuba diving, free diving, snorkeling, just getting in the water, you're probably going to search for, hey, what mask should I choose? One of the first questions in that is, well, should I choose a double lens or a single lens? What does it look like? Is there differences? What's the advantage, the disadvantage? So hopefully after you watch this video, it'll give you a better understanding as to what you should choose and why you should choose it. So let's talk about the apparent differences. Not necessarily a disadvantage or an advantage, just differences. So for the single lens dive mask, it's pretty self-explanatory. It is one single lens and if it's a good quality dive mask, it's going to be a lens constructed out of tempered glass. A couple of what people would call advantages uh, for choosing a single lens dive mask is for one, you will have a better field of vision as opposed to a double lens mask. Why do we say that? Well, if you look at the way it's constructed, you'll notice the single lens does not have any type of framing uh, to block any field of vision going forward. So with the single lens, you have really good front sight and peripheral vision. Whereas if you look at the double lens, it's not that you don't have good vision, it's that you have more of a framework here on the design. It's just how it's built. Whereas the difference for the double lens mask is that here you've got the frame on the nose, unlike the single lens where you can see out that way. Does this make a big difference? From my personal experience in rocking both of these underwater, uh, no, it, it doesn't make any difference for me personally. When you have these on, Honestly, it looks like from me just going looking forward, if I look right here, I, I can't really even see, I can't even really see my finger in front if I'm just looking forward. Now, if I close one eye, I can see my finger. So even though there is potential visibility here, it does not make or break your visibility. But that is what a lot of people, especially online, will say, go with a single lens if you want better visibility. That's not always the case. It also depends on the design of the mask. So with this Kraken Aquatics mask, you have the frame. If you go with a frameless design, however, you're gonna have better visibility in that regard. Why? Well, there's nothing obscuring your vision uh, or tunneling your vision, if you will, you've got more free space because there's no framework blocking the visibility. It's just silicone and your tempered glass. Another potential advantage for having a single lens dive mask is to go the frameless route where it's not only better visibility, but it's also lower volume in your dive mask. Let me explain. When you descend into the depths of the water, the deeper you go, the more pressure is built up uh, onto your mask, onto your face, anywhere there's air pockets on your person, whether it's your ears where you have to you know, equalize, where you blow the air out of your ears, or what's called a mask equalization, where if you're wearing your mask and you descend and you feel that pressure, it's like it gets so tight, you could feel the pressure inside. That's because the volume inside is creating the pressure because the air the air pockets are doing this and so it's not expanding you're not getting more air in fact it's decreasing so what do you have to do you have to do a mask equalization where you simply do this you blow out now if you see here it fogs up because of the air that's released and so what is taught in a lot of places is that if you get a dive mask that is frameless and the single lens, and it's kind of the same rule for double, but we'll get into that in just a moment, you have a better chance of mask equalizing less because of the lower volume that's in the dive mask. Personally, every single mask I've ever used underwater is got some form of fashion of pressure and so I do regular equalizing, I blow air out of my nose and I do a mask equalization to get the air pocket out of the mask. You're gonna face that with any type of mask you get depending on the depths that you go to. The deeper you go, the more pressure you have. So it's, 
I would say it's common sense, but in the dive community, it is. In scuba diving, it is common sense. But you need to know these things before purchasing a mask because, yeah, when you're walking on land with a mask or on a boat and you're like, yeah, this is comfortable, I love it, the skirt's comfortable, I can see, and it's pretty. But when you go down and maybe you've adjusted too tight or whatever the case may be, if you go down underwater, it can get really uncomfortable really fast the deeper you go if you're not aware, hey, what's going on? Is it the pressure building up? Is my mask too tight? Did I choose the wrong mask? These are questions you need to answer and that's what we're doing in these videos. So we're making you aware, hey, if you go with a single lens dive mask, for one, you've got some good visibility. And number two, the potential for lower volume inside of your dive mask. So those are just things to consider before purchasing uh, one or the other. Now let's move on to the double lens. So for the double lens, again, uh, it's self-explanatory. There are two lenses, two separate lenses, one, two. And also we can have the same discussion that we just had with the single lens dive mask that we can with the double lens, which is lower volume. It depends on the style of the mask, the how large it is and or how small it is. And it's gonna depend also on the shape of your face. Again, the lower the volume in the mask, the less you have to equalize your mask. And trust me, you scuba divers out there or free divers know all too well that you already have to equalize enough. So one less thing to worry about on your person, especially your dive mask, the better. So before we wrap up this video, there are two top secret pieces of information you need to know before going to another video. And here are those two pieces of information. One. Get a mask that fits you. Don't get something too small. Don't get something too large. You have a unique face, different than anyone else's, unless you have an identical twin. Your face is unique, your bone structure, your eye placement, your everything about you is you. Take ownership of that. Find a mask that is comfortable for you. So that's number one. Get a mask that fits you. Number two. Make sure the mask you choose isn't just pretty and it has the cool colors and things like that. Make sure it's built properly. But when purchasing a dive mask, you wanna make sure you have a tempered lens, okay? The tempered glass is crucial. Do not go scuba diving if you are wearing a mask that does not say tempered glass. If it's not marked, don't use it. Uh, that could be very dangerous as it's just plastic. If it's if it's not tempered glass, it's just a plastic material. When you go deep, it could splinter and break into your eye. And that's probably not going to be that fun underwater. And not just the glass, but check out the body and the style of the dive mask. Again, it is your personal preference. You get to pick if you want a colored lens to where nobody can see your eyes and it's shaded or if you want frame or frameless the different type of color frames and the different type of colored silicone but what's important is the tempered glass and the silicone the skirt and the strap is very crucial also in choosing the right dive mask and also i want to say if you look in the description you will find a link that will take you to a video that that we've done here at kraken aquatics that goes into more detail on how to choose the proper dive mask for you so talking about the silicone you want to make sure that it's a good quality hypoallergenic silicone and make sure you don't have allergy to silicone because that wouldn't be fun either. So let's wrap this video up. Are there major differences that are make or break for the single or the double lens? No, there's not. Again, it comes back to personal preference. There's technically not advantages or disadvantages, good, bad, and ugly with these options. Again, it's preference. Whatever you need, whatever you choose, as long as it's safe on you and comfortable, and you like what you wear. So what do you think? Single lens, double lens? Let's have a conversation in the comments, shall we? Make sure you leave a like, comment, share this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you need a dive mask, go to krakenaquatics.com and pick yours out today. All right, I'm Scuba Steve with Kraken Aquatics, and we will catch you on the next video.